All right, so I don't know if you're like me or not, but I haven't really um, dealt with Active Directory certificate services much outside of the desire to set up a gateway in SCOM. So what we're going to do is go to roles, add roles, we're going to choose Active Directory Certificate Services. We're going to do Certificate Authority, we're going to do Certificate Authority Web Enrollment, and Online Responder. We're going to do an Enterprise, and we're going to break some rules here, we're just going to go ahead and make this uh, the root CA. We're going to pick a new private key and let's go ahead and just go with the basics. As the documentation says, and um, for certificate services, you want to go ahead and pick your CA name that you're going to use because you can't go back and fix that. Uh, even though we don't have a root in an issuing CA, I'm just going to go ahead and choose issuing CA as a name uh, just to make things simple. And I don't think this lab's going to be running for more than five years, but let's just go with 10 years to be on the safe side. And we don't have separate drives to break off the logs, so we'll just hit next. And we're going to go ahead and confirm the installation. So now our certificate services is well on its way. Now while this is um, setting up, I'm just going to give uh, some credit here to a couple different blogs that have kind of helped me through this process. So we've got Thoughts on Ops Manager, um, how to create a SCOM certificate template. I did not know how to set one of these up, so uh, this, this guide was pretty handy. Um, and We'll talk about a couple little things later that I had to sort of uh, figure out on my own. But the uh, the other guide that I want to give credit to is uh, from System Center Cen System Center Forum, which I think now is uh, System Center Central. And uh, we've got Pete Zerger and uh, Neil Brown uh, set this initial guide up. So uh, between those two blog posts, um, I believe I'm going to successfully be able to set up my gateway and uh, go ahead and share it with the community, the, the entire process on video. Alright, so we successfully installed Active Directory Certificate Services. So our next step here is to add a couple certificate related snap-ins. Right, I've seen some different uh, flavors of these where you can use user or the uh, cryptographic, no, what was it, IPsec offline request. And so far the user one has been uh, spot on with the exception of one, uh, one option, which I'll tell you about. So uh, we're going to choose Windows 2003 server. Validity point two years. And I 
was gonna, gonna cheat and copy his name from the, the write up, but I'll let uh, operations manager 2012 cert. So we go to request handling, minimum key is 1024. Allow private keys to be exported. Choose Microsoft RSA, S channel cryptographic provider. Subject name, supply and request. That's important because otherwise when I when I set this up, I was getting a uh, error or something to, to the effect of the exchange server was not set up. So this was the way around it to where um, the request appeared more like uh, Kevin's blog. Server authentication, security, um, authenticated users read. We also want to go ahead and add the uh, computer name. Now I've read. that this isn't necessary for 2008, that it's only necessary for 2008 R2, but to be on the safe side, we can go ahead and just uh, add the, the uh, web server for the issuing certificate and uh, add it to uh, enroll. And uh, that was a post setup um, blog on bots on Ops Manager. Where, where I read that. Let's do a quick uh, glance over here, make sure that everything looks right. I'm winging some of this. All right, so now we will go to our certificate authority, certificate templates, new certificate to issue. And let's grab our operations manager 2012 cert. 